Hello, welcome to part 5 of Physiotherapy Question and Answer MCQ series. Let's move to our question number 101. For runners, a reduction of impact peak load can be achieved by Option A. Forward striking Option B. Using suitable running shoe Option C. Reducing weight Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above Moving to our question number 102. Dash splint is prescribed for a case of median nerve injury. Option A. Coke up splint. Option B. Nickel bender. Option C. Pancake. Option D. Short opponents. And the answer is Option D. Short opponents. Moving to question number 103. Pain sensation is carried by Option A. Medial spinothalamic tract Option B. Lateral spinothalamic tract Option C. Posterior column Option D. Anterior column And the answer is Option B. Lateral spinothalamic tract Moving to our question number 104 Which of the following spinal orthosis control lumbar sacral flexion extension? Option A. Tyler Option B. Knight Option C. Harris Option D. Tyler and Knight And the answer is Option C. Harris Moving to question number 105 Which feature is shared by cardiac muscle cells and skeletal muscle cell? Option A. Striation Option B. Intercalated disc Option C. Branching Option D. Involuntary nature And the answer is Option A. Striations Moving to question number 106. The respiratory center is located in the dash and the dash. Option A. Midbrain and pons. Option B. Pons and medulla oblongata. Option C. Midbrain and medulla oblongata. Option D. Pons and hypothalamus. And the answer is Option B. Pons and medulla oblongata. Moving to question number 107. Changes in sensory aphasia are often associated with a dash lesion. Option A. Frontal lobe. Option B. Parietal lobe. Option C. Broca's area. Option C. Wernicke's area. And the answer is Option D. Wernicke's area. Moving to our question number 108. Kinney Brooks disease affects Option A scaphoid, Option B lunate, Option C tricutrium, Option D trapezoid, and the answer is Option B lunate. Moving to our question number 109, the technique to stretch adhesion in a muscle is called Option A. Faradism under pressure. Option B. Faradic foot bath. Option C. Faradism under tension. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is Option C. Faradism under tension. Now let's move to our question number 110. In which lever effort is between the fulcrum and the weight? Option A. First order lever. Option B. Second order lever. Option C. Third order lever. And the answer is Option C, third order lever. Now let's move to our question number 111. In blood clotting, what activate factor 10? Option A, prothrombase. Option B, thrombin. Option C, the extrinsic pathway. Option D, tissue plasmogen activator. And the answer is Option A, prothrombinase. Now let's move to our question number 112. Pest and CS include dash. Option A. Semimembranosis, gracilis and sartorius. Option B. Semimembranosis, rectus femoris and ITB. Option C. Semitendinosis, gracilis and sartorius. Option D. Semitendinosis, pectineus and adductor magnus. And the answer is Option C. Semitendinosis, gracilis and sartorius. Now let's move to our question number 113. Halt, relax, contract is a part of dynamic stretching. Option A, PNF stretching. Option B, ballistic stretching. Option C, passive stretching. And the answer is Option A, PNF stretching. Moving to question number 114. 
Typical tennis elbow involves the common extensor muscle. Which muscle is commonly involved? Option A, extensor carpi radialis longus. Option B, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Option C, brachioradialis. Option D, extensor indices. And the answer is Option B, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Moving to question number 115, swan neck deformity is due to dash. Option A, contracture of extensor digitorum communicis. Option B, intrinsic tightness. Option C, contracture of FDP, that's flexor digitorum profundus. Option D, rupture, laxis of volar plate. And the answer is Option D. Rupture or laxity of volar plate. Let's move to our question number 116. What entire deformity is due to dash? Option A. Contracture of FTS, that's flexor digitorum superficialis. Option B. Rupture of central slip of extensor expansion. Option C. Contracture of extensor digitorum. Option D. Rupture of the collateral slip of extensor expansion. And the answer is. Option B, rupture of the sender slip of extensor expansion. Now let's move to our question number 117. The QRS complex in a standard ECG represents option A, depolarization of auricle, option B, depolarization of ventricle, option C, repolarization of ventricle, option D, repolarization of auricles. And the answer is option B, depolarization of ventricles. Now let's move to our question number 118. In amputation, myopathy is done primarily to Option A. Allow and bearing on the stem Option B. Produce best cosmetic appearance Option C. Restore resting length of the muscle and improve circulation Option D. Improve prosthetic fitting And the answer is Option A. Allow and bearing on the stem Now let's move to our question number 119. The cells that are found in the tendon are called Option A. Osteocytes Option B. Adipocytes Option C. Hemocytoblasts Option D. Fibroblasts And the answer is Option D. Fibroblasts Now let's move to our question number 120. Sprain is an injury to Option A, a ligament or a joint capsule without dislocation. Option B, a joint with dislocation. Option C, a ligament or joint capsule with or without dislocation. Option D, muscle ligament or bone. And the answer is Option A, a ligament or joint capsule without dislocation. Let's move to question number 121. Dobbin sign is likely to be diagnosed as a case of Option A. Bicepital tendonitis Option B. Axillary nerve neurotisis Option C. Subacromial bursitis Option D. Deltoid bursitis And the answer is Option C. Subacromial bursitis Now let's move to our question number 122 Supporting cells located within the CNS are collectively called DASH. Option A. Neuroglia. Option B. Astrocytes. Option C. Pericranon. Option D. Satellite cells. And the answer is... Option A. Neuroglia. Now let's move to question number 123. Meniscal injury is identified by special test. Option A. Anterior Droyes test. Option B. Lichman's test. Option D. Apley's test. Option D. Obrer test. And the answer is Option C. Apley's test. Now let's move to question number 124. When listening to left dub sound on the heart with a stethoscope, what is the cause of dub sound? Option A. The blood flowing through the open semilunar valves. Option B. The blood flowing through the open atrioventricular valves. Option C. The turbulent blood flow through closing atrioventricular valves. Option D. The turbulent blood flow through closing semilunar valves. And the answer is Option D. The turbulent blood flow through the closing semilunar valves. Now let's move to our question number 125. 
ability to interrupt letter written on the palmar surface of one's hand is option a stereogenesia option b aphylogenesia option d graphastasia option d none and the answer is option c graphastasia so that's all for today if you need further clarification check the description box and give your feedback in the comment box if you like this mcq session do subscribe to this channel for watching the part 6 of this video series thank you